in this episode of the Comic Book Collector's Guide, we go over um, a shopping list or a holiday shopping list for uh, people that are looking to pick up something for a comic fan in their life or a comic fan looking to pick up something for themselves. And I'll be back right after the intro. Welcome back to the Comic Book Savant YouTube channel. I'm your host, James Harris, and this is the Comic Book Collector's Guide. It is the signature series on our on my YouTube channel where um, we do these episodes covering all the different things in and surrounding and connected to the hobby of being a comics fan and collecting comics. Um, I will have uh, a play the uh, link to the playlist down below. This is episode 12 of the series, and I have some other episodes that are uh, related to different um, topics that are related to collecting comics that are in the playlist as well. So I think it's about uh, 14 or 15 videos total, but this is officially episode 12 of the comic book collector's guide. Um, I decided to do a holiday shopping list. Um, uh, last year around this time, I did a similar video. I made some updates and some changes for this year's holiday season. It's a little bit late. I do apologize uh, to you guys. It's been kind of delaying episodes. Um, I've had a lot of health issues. I kind of been battling um, since right before Thanksgiving. So that's why the content on the channel has slowed down. I apologize for that. Sometimes real life, you know, kind of throws you a curveball and you kind of have to step back and kind of deal with it. But it'll be I'm trying to get caught back up and get these videos rolling back out to you once a week uh, or content twice a week anyway with the podcast upload uh, on the channel as well. So this time around, I, I broke it up into different sections. First, we're going to look at kind of services. We've had some uh, some new services that came, you know, have rolled out in the past year since last last this time last year when I did the video. Now we have services like DC Universe, the online streaming service, are offering from um, Warner Brothers and DC Comics that has been out now. Um, I did a video that I will put up here or here. You'll see above either way. Um, of my first impressions of, uh, of the DC Universe service. I'll be doing an update to that video coming out in the next week or so. Um, but that's a good offering that service is. Um, and I'll have the links down below as I'm talking about this too. So if you're interested in any of the things I'm talking about, it'll be links either in the lower third here down at the bottom or in down in the uh, show notes down at the bottom that you can click on to so you can check out these sites if you're interested in picking them up. Um, but DC Universe, it, they offer original content. They have um, the Titan show, which I've reviewed recently um, here as well. Um, they have that as the first of many, but it's the first show that's actually live and um, premiering on the network right now. They have um, an assortment of their live action and animated movies as a part of the service. They actually have comics available um, on the service as well. So it's, it's one of the most comprehensive um, all in one like services. I have done videos um, where I've talked about different services like um, Comixology Unlimited and um, Marvel Unlimited subscription service where it's just comic based where DC Universe is changing the game is that they're offering live action animated movies they're on um, their library of animated television shows but they're they're not fully they're not fully um, they're not fully realized list because because with Warner Brothers having different deals, different places it's not just a one stop shop of everything DC you can't watch the CW shows on DC Universe you know um, now you can watch old shows like Lois and Clark, Batman, the animated series, the Young Justice series. That's the next original uh, show that's going to be premiering this month on DC Universe is um, season three of the Young Justice series that used to be on. Um, I want to say it was Cartoon Network is coming and that's their second original show that will premiere on the network, which you can go watch the previous two seasons. You can watch the original Teen Titans cartoon that used to be on Cartoon Network. Uh, so they have a bevy of different things, but it's it's um it's selective. So if you think, you know, it's your end all be all for any DC content content, it's not. So it has its own caveats with it. It is um I think it's uh, eight seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine a month. Um, you can do a year subscription for 
Um, I think it's 79, 99, so roughly like 80 bucks right now. And I will, like I said, I will have the links down in the lower third or in the show notes below to go to the um, site and they'll, you can get all the particulars um, about it. I'm, I, um, they did, they do a week free trial of DC universe. So you can dip your toe in it, see if you like it first. And if you like what you get, uh, get out the service, you can, you can sign up for it. So it's a good gift. So even if you're the gift giver or you're looking to get something for yourself as a comic fan, you can always do that week trial, see if it's worth your money, if you're going to gift it to someone, or if it's something that you, you're you debating about putting your money down on and you want to try it first. So you can try it, kick the tires for a week, see what you like, see if that, if that works for you. Um, I've, have my, I've had my reservations and I've talked about it between here and the podcast before about the DC Universe service. All in all, I think I enjoy it and I'm looking from going monthly to going yearly in the, in the near future. Uh, I think I'm, I'm curious to see where it's going to go. Um, and you save a few dollars by going yearly. So I'm considering doing that from the month to month, but I wanted to give it a few months to see how, if the service really grew on me or not. Um, but it has, again, it has some, some pros and cons to it. So just what works for you. So do the free trial first next service. Um, for some people, another um, service that has, um, rolled out in the past year since I last did this video is um, AMC Stubbs, which is a, their subscription movie going service. We know more and more comic book movies are coming out. It's not just summer blockbusters. Comic book movies come out all through the year and we want to go see them. So with, a, um, with AMC Stubbs, I think it's like either 20 to $24. I think they had a price increase just a few months ago. So I think it depends on what state you are and when you sign up for the service when you're hit with this price increase it was originally rolled out at 19.99 i know they did it increase to 24.99 um, but it just depends where you're at when it takes effect for you um, i think you're allowed to see um i want to say uh 12 movies a month or something like i think three a week uh, so 12 a month um i've just known what i've read and i've seen people review the service People seem tend to like it because so many people are, you know, all over the country, all over the world that are part of the community here. So I wanted to be like, you know, offer that because it's something important because we have even more and more movies coming out just at the end of this year and going into next year. We got um, uh, Captain Marvel. We have Shazam. We have Avengers 4. There's so many movies coming down the pike. So these movie subscription services can save, you know, like for the money you can save and the amount of money um, movies you can go see off of it. It would definitely be something cool to give to the comic book fan in your life because there are plenty of comic book movies that are coming out for them to go see. I'm going to briefly just talk about Marvel Unlimited. Again, it's Marvel's online comic subscription service. You only have access to Marvel comic books, but you have a massive library of of like 35,000, um, like our some odd comics. I always get it wrong when I quote, I be trying to remember the exact number. It's a stupid amount. I think it's like 35,000 they, they stayed on their website website now. Uh, back catalog, backlog of um, comics. Um, main caveat to Marvel, Marvel Unlimited is that again, you, you're limited to just Marvel comics and normally they delay, the newest stuff is delayed about six months. But if you love Marvel comics, um, you don't mind reading digital or you're just getting back into comics and you want to catch up and read a lot. If you don't mind reading comics off your computer or off your phone or even off like a device like an iPad, it's a it's a great it's a great um, it's a great service. Um, I've done comparison videos. I'm referencing so much different stuff. I'm not going to put all this stuff up here because you'll be like distracted by it all. But if you check out the site, if you go to this playlist for the comic book collector's guide, I've done direct comparisons. I've done reviews on com um, on Marvel, uh, Marvel, I can't even talk, Marvel Unlimited, that subscription service separately. Um, also Comixology Unlimited, which is the other one I'm about to talk about, as well as um, the pros and cons between the two, the differences between the two, uh, the pricing, all of that good stuff. There are two great services. It just depends. The main difference is Marvel, um, Marvel Unlimited is Marvel only. Comixology Unlimited, you have um, everything pretty much except for DC. You have um, the, the Marvel Library. Marvel is a part of Comixology Unlimited, but you don't have the same back catalog as you have with just straight um, Marvel Unlimited. And you also have independent publishers like Image, um, IDW, 
um, Valiant, those kind of things with Comixology. So you get a bigger, um, a bigger outreach of different publishers, just not one. Um, but the amount of books you have from each publisher is limited. So you're not going to just be able to subscribe and like read a whole, like all of the walking dead. Um, now you can read about half of that series, but it's almost, you know, it's 170 some issues in, I still think that's a good deal for paying. Like, I think I I'm subscribed to comics, Odyssey unlimited. I pay like six fifty a month. I don't think that's a bad deal at all for paying that little. That's some, one issue of a comic now can run six to seven dollars. So the fact that I pay six fifty, and um, you, and you get additional benefits as well as far as the books that you can read through the service, discounts on books when you want to buy them, even books that are on sale. It's a lot of things, but they're check out the playlist. Next thing that another section that I want to break this down to is we covered services. Those were some of the top services that I think that are excellent gifts for the comic book fan in your life. Next, I look at technology tablets especially if people are getting into digital comics they need a device to read their comics on you can read them on your desktop on your computer like i have an imac here um you know i mainly read them off my my desktop but sometimes like if i'm in the bed or if we are on the road and we travel i have an ipad that you know i use so it's so many different tablets out there where to start, how much money you want to spend on it. Um, I look at the like the iPad or the, it's, I, I, the naming conventions are so off, but the iPad that I have is like a not even a year old. I think it came out the last version. I think they switched the name back to the iPad. It's the 10.5 um, inch model. Um, I have like the 120, 128 gigabyte model. They run about 429 prices may vary when i was um doing the research for this i was just going with the prices that i saw prices may vary because it's the holiday time you probably can get deals and they just released a new ipad uh just a couple of months ago so this model might even be cheaper now with sales and with the newer model coming out um i know a new model was ipad pro that came out so it's always constantly new ipad models out that's the top of the line apple's devices so it's going to be a little bit pricier than some other tablet devices you'll get. But um, Marvel Unlimited works on uh, works on iOS as well as Android as well. So I'm gonna give you some Android options as well. But you have the iPad, like I said, iPad, uh, 10 and a half inch model works for me. I, I don't do a lot on it outside of reading comics or like when I'm doing the videos I use, um, you know, I use it just to go over my bullet points to make sure I'm covering everything in the video. So I use it prim primarily this is my uh, comics on the go, essentially my iPad is that's what I 90% use my iPad for. Um, so again, you can get it around four, 430, probably cheaper now for, for this particular version of it. And you don't need the, the cutting edge latest iPad. You can save money and get the generation previous and it works perfectly fine if you're primarily using it as a digital comics reader. Um, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Um, you know, uh, the Samsung Galaxy is one of the biggest um, phone brands next to, the, you know, the iPhone. So they have an equivalent tablet. I've owned the Gal I owned the first Galaxy Tab, and they're not bad um, tablets if you use the Android ecosystem. And again, the apps for Comixology as well as um, Marvel are on both platforms. So either way you go, they're considerably cheaper. I'm looking at this. Um, this is an eight-inch tablet. Um, 32 gigabytes starting as low as like 180 bucks. Probably you can find them cheaper this time of year with so many sales on technology and they'll be leading up to Christmas. So you still can grab these on the low. You might can get them almost 400 bucks if you find the right sale via, you know, Amazon via online or going into the store. They're going to have sales, more and more sales coming up. Um, and then also the Amazon Fire. Amazon makes a really good um, Android tablet as well. You can get these relatively cheap if you don't mind having an eight inch form factor they have um an eight inch 32 gigabyte tablet for as low as 89.99 probably cheaper amazon are constantly slashing deals because they keep bringing out the newer models so again you can get one generation behind that just was replaced with a newer model and even save even more money so those are just options if you're looking into getting into digital comics and you already don't have a tablet or you have an older tablet and you're looking to upgrade it um, those are some options that, you know, 
Apple stuff is always going to be the higher end and higher, you know, price point. Um, but then there's some Android solutions there that are relatively cheaper and are, are just as good, to be honest, from um, over the years, me playing with both platforms. Um, you know, I just have a whole everything that I have at this point is Apple ecosystem from Apple TV to Mac to iPad to iPhone. It's just easier for me. But your preference might be different. So if you can save money where you can, so you can buy more comics in the end, do that, please buy those comics and have that fun. Um, then I wanted to throw in lastly, some comics, what would be some good comics to, to buy or some recommendations for you guys to pick up or for yourself, or if you're a friend of the person that is a comics fan and you're thinking about what can I get them if I want to actually buy them a physical book. Here's some of the recommendations I can run down just quickly. that are just some personal recommendations of books that I've read and or reviewed that I think that are really great gifts in wonderful format. First is going to be Star Wars Darth Vader by Karrion Gillian and Salvador La Roca. It comes in a nice bound omnibus edition. It's the whole series. I think it was 25 issues long. Um, I think it's like 28 issues in it because it's like a origin issue. It's the annuals. It's the whole work of that run in one beautifully bound um, omnibus edition. So it looks beautiful on the shelf or like as a coffee table, huge coffee table book. Um, you can find that, I'll have the links down below. Uh, it retails for um, 100 right now. You can get that for 58 bucks on InStockTrades.com. So you definitely wanna check that out. Uh, anywhere you can save money on getting these big mount editions, they can be rather expensive. But um, InStock Trades is a discount retailer. They, they sell books for 40, you know, 35, 42, up to 50% off. So you can save a ton. So if you're looking to buy, you know, you got a couple hundred dollars, and you want to really splurge for your loved one and be like, I want to buy them a few of these beautifully bound books. You can, you can really go in for a hundred or two hundred dollars and buy them a couple, you know, and have those um, shipped to them, which is was awesome. Because if you know anything about your friend or family member or yourself, when it comes to that, I hear more and more people in the comments saying, you know, I love having the bookshelf with the beautiful trades and hard covers. It's, it's an addiction. I suffered from it for years. It is. It's no, nothing better than having looking at those books on the bookshelf. And then, when you know, just grab, having your own personal library of this cool stuff and that the spines that's sitting there is a, is a wonderful thing. I've talked about it enough. So that's the first recommendation. Next one is the X-Men um, Mutant Massacre Omnibus. They just released a full on omnibus about that's um, one of the most influential series of the X-Men crossover events. One of the first like big crossover events um, in the comics from the mid eighties. Um, I just picked this up digitally to reread it. I hadn't read it since it came out when I was a kid in 8045. Um, but they had this massive omnibus that collects not just the original X-Men issues, but the whole Marvel universe issues and the, and the, some of the beginning lead in and the, um, all the tie in issues and the aftermath as well. So this massive, um, it also retails for hundred bucks on in stock trades right now. You can also get it for 58 bucks. Great deals. Like I said, you can't pass up getting a book almost half price. Um, next, one of my favorite absolute editions, and this is a prestige format made by DC comics, um, that they take some of their best stories, best selling, uh, most fan revered, um, stories, and they will put them in this beautiful, uh, like slip case bound edition oversized. They really accentuate the writing and the artwork. A lot of times they have, they're kind of like a deluxe, um, DVD or CD like this alone, they'll have a lot of back matter showing the behind the scenes, the sketches, character concepts. It has all these little special features. So it's like the ultimate or again, absolute edition of that particular story. So if you're a huge fan of the story and you want it in the most premium format, you get it in absolute edition. Um, it's pro um, that is solely a um, DC Comics thing. They really put the market on it. One that I always recommend, and one of the, I actually own this, the first printing. They're doing multiple printings now because it's such a popular story, but I had the first run printing before I did start my physical books was uh, Absolute Kingdom Come. It is a beautiful book. It is a stunning, it's one, it was one of my favorite, and I collected the Absolute Editions, and it was absolutely, pardon the pun, one of my favorite uh favorite um absolute editions that i that i owned and I, I was hard parting with it um when i got rid of them but it's it's phenomenal it's a great story 
uh, I'm not going to ruin it. I've talked about it numerous times. One of my favorite DC stories of all time, um, but a beautiful book. Um, it retails for $99.99. You can get it for $54.99 right now at InStockTrades.com. Again, links will be below. Um, then also, next book I want to talk about is another Absolute Edition. And, um, I'm a huge Batman fan. It's one of my favorite Batman stories, which is The Long Halloween. This is another one I personally owned, and I know it's a beautiful, stunning book as well. Um, it's had multiple reprintings of it. They keep it printed now. Initially, the absolute editions would be a limited run that they would just, you know, they would have one printing run. They didn't do them as the absolute editions. They start doing more and it became more common. They brought certain stuff back out. So they used to have crazy value on the resale market as for collectors, because if you missed it during that first printing, you never knew if they were going to do a second and third. Nowadays, like for the, um, when Kingdom Come came out, that was a very one I was sought after a lot, the long Halloween as well. Uh, they had that they start doing more multiple printings of those absolute editions. So now they're, you know, you don't have to pay, pay crazy prices for it. If you're trying to find them, you can, they're always readily available and you can always order them from some online retailer, uh, which is good. Next thing I stumbled across, I love um, over at Image, Robert Kirkman. He has the Skybound imprint over at Image, and he has um, Invincible was one of his two, two of his, Robert Kirkman's first series was, of course, The Walking Dead, which everyone knows, and Invincible, which finished up last year. And they have these beautiful, huge, what they call um, complete Invincible library editions. They're mass oversized premium format. I think they have like 25 or some odd issues per um, beautiful format. Now, these are limited and they're hard to find. The volume three just recently released. So that's the one that you can grab right away. You might have to look, search if you want one and two. But I just thought, as far as looking for these premium format books, something that's going to look stunning on someone's bookshelf. If you can find them in the first volume, do it. Um, but again, I don't know what the availability are. I have, I was doing research on it to see um, where you can find them. I checked Amazon. I checked in stock trades. The newer version for volume three is readily available because it just came out. Two, you can still find certain places. The first volume is going to be the hardest one to find. So it gives you uh, something to go on a hunt for when you're um, trying to track down some comics. That might be the whale in the group, the hard to find one that you might have to pay a little bit of money for. But that's just some of the things that I feel like that completes so around out this holiday shopping guide for the comics fan of your life, or if you are the comics fan, stuff that you might want to buy for yourself this holiday season to help you enhance or enjoy your comic book uh, reading and collecting experience even more. Um, it's different things you can follow up to on the playlist as well. If you're looking to get an iPad, I did a series of digital comic book reader programs. Uh, if you um, buy different digital comics in dis different formats from different companies, um, you know, some of them are PDF, some are CBR, some are CBZ. I did a whole breakdown of, uh, I think, five different programs uh, on this playlist, on the Comic Book Collector's Guide playlist on uh, digital comic book readers. So if you, once you get your tablet and you need some suggestions on applications or services, I got you covered. Just go back to this playlist, check it out. I got you covered. That's what this whole series is about. It's helping you um, determine, put together your own strategy on making this journey into comic books the best possible. Um, again, I apologize for the delay in the episodes. Again, life comes into play. My health was an issue. I had to take care of myself to get back 100%. Um, now, like I said, I'm about, I'm not 100% right now. I'm about... 80, 85 percent. I'm, I'm trending upward is how they like to say. So um, it's going to be more frequent content coming out. Um, it's definitely leading up to the holidays. There's going to be more videos coming out and even some I'm going to try to get some more done even covered during the holidays. So you might uh, get some extra videos sprinkled in there as well. The podcast uploads come uh, every week as well. So, it, you know, if anything else you get um, a upload from the actual podcast from that week, as well as an original video that I do here on the channel. I just want to give a shout out to my Patreons. Um, again, if you like the content that I do here, the family has been growing. And I just want to take a moment to, to just thank all you guys for the support. I don't have the biggest channel by any means. Um, I understand that being on a platform like YouTube um, is, is, um, is a marathon. It's not a sprint. 
you know, I get the best comments from you guys. Like, oh, you know, you should be a bigger channel, uh, you know, and with your, with your guys' help, it is growing. You know, I, I'm not going to blow up overnight. Not, everyone on YouTube can't blow up overnight. Some people will be envious to have the amount of subscribers that I do have. You know, it was amazing in this downtime. I was so worried about not creating content. And I, and I was getting more, I got more subscribers during this break of time uh, than I did leading up to right before I got sick and putting out videos every week. So that you just never know with YouTube. It's, it's just a, a, a funny thing. I just, you know, I love this community that we're building here. Um, I'm putting the time, work, and hopefully the passion. You guys are loving it. It just seems like the guy, the people, the guys and girls that I hear from appreciate what I do. I appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your day, your life to sit here and watch, talk, you know, watch me ramble on about comics passionately and you giving me that same passion back in the comments. It means more than you ever know. And it motivates me so much to keep this going and keep it growing. So if you think about wanting to support the channel, I want to give a shout out to my, my close friend. And, you know, he's been supporting me since I started my podcast 13 years ago. Um, my friend Ed Moore, he's one of my, my Patreon supporters. I just want to give him a shout out as always on this episode because he's part of the reason this is possible. If you like the content and you think you want to become a Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash comic book savant and you become a patron. I also have links down in the show description. I have cool, so a couple of cool t-shirts through Teespring that if you want to support the show on rep that comic book savant life, you can pick up. I have two different t-shirt designs. I was saying I was going to do a hoodie for the winter. I guess I need to get on that. So you might see a hoodie design in there sometime soon. Um, and again, I just appreciate all you guys support. This has been a phenomenal year for the growth of the channel. You know, I started a little bit like a year and a half ago and it's just grown by leaps and bounds. And it, I, it, in, a, in a ways that I didn't necessarily expect for it to, to kind of grow, you know, the, the way it did. And um, again, it's just been a been a wonderful year for me, even with the some hurt, you know, health things that have slowed me down here and there. All in all, the growth from this channel, the growth of the audio podcast as well. And more you and I, I have to say this too, I thank you guys for taking the time when those um, episodes come up with the podcast, you guys that are watching the videos will, you know, come on the YouTube channel and listen to the newest episode of the podcast and giving feedback. I appreciate it so much. It means a ton. Um, you, you know, so definitely always be on the lookout for that. You get podcast episodes, you get live episodes with me and my ugly mug. Um, and again, I'm looking full steam ahead into 2019 and to keep this going. You guys are loving the comic book collector's guides. I have at least like five more episodes that I'm working on now of comic book collector's guide. So they will be coming very frequently. So be on the lookout for that as well. I'm your host, James Harris. This is the comic book collector's guide on Comic Books of my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for this episode. Happy hunting for the holidays, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.